Hi guys and welcome to something a little bit different. Now we have previously looked at the Champions League last year we took a look and it was a great campaign however it is a little bit longer to do the videos because there are quite a lot of games. So what we're going to do is focus on the English clubs in all three European competitions, follow them, see how they get on and predict how they are going to do in each game week. I think this is a bit better for the people that will be viewing, so yourself, this video, you will probably care more about the English teams and how they're getting on, and I also think that it makes it a little bit easier for me, because instead of guessing on teams that I don't have much knowledge on, I can tell you what I think, and have a bit more to say. So without further ado, let's start off with the Champions League English teams. And we'll start with the early kickoff. AC Milan against Newcastle. This will be a great game. I'm really looking forward to it. AC Milan started the league very, very well with three out of three wins. However, they then lost 5-1 to rivals Inter. Didn't see that one come in, not by such a big margin. And maybe that will knock AC Milan's confidence a little bit going into this. Newcastle haven't started greatly, however, they have had one of the toughest runs of fixtures in the league that I've probably ever seen to start it off. So, very, very difficult for Newcastle. They have managed to pick up six points, which isn't too bad, and I think they will go from strength to strength this season. I think being away from home will make it tougher, and that's the reason I'm going to go one all. Next up, Man City take on Red Star Belgrade. Now, Man City, obviously the holders, they were brilliant last year. They did the treble. Can they go again? They've had a brilliant start to the season, winning 5 out of 5. Red Star Belgrade have won 5 out of 7, so again, a good start. But Man City should be walking this one quite comfortably. So I'm going to go for City to win it 4-0. Wednesday's fixtures next and we've got Arsenal against PSV Eindhoven. Now, if I'm right, these two teams did face off in the group stages of the Europa League last year. So they've both managed to get themselves into the top competition and they both had great seasons last year. Arsenal, they have had a good start to the season. They haven't been as convincing as I expected, but they're getting points on the board. They just beat Everton away, which is a fixture that they never, ever seem to win. So, very good from Arsenal. PSV have had a good start to the Eredivisie also. And I think they're a very good team that could really get out of this group and cause a lot of issues. And that's the reason, sorry Arsenal fans, but I am going to go for a bit of a difficult start, one all. And perhaps the most mouth-watering contest of the four sees Bayern Munich host Manchester United. Now Bayern have started the season well as usual, three wins and a draw, the draw against Leverkusen and they have also started well so it's a good point to be getting. They were in the lead in that game and lost all three points to a last minute penalty so they came away with a draw but Harry Kane has also hit the ground running there so Bayern will be very happy. Man United won two and lost three. The losses have been to Tottenham, Arsenal and most recently Brighton. Ten Hag was absolutely outclassed by De Zerbe in that game. Brighton won 3-1. And Man United have a lot of problems at the moment. I think they'd have liked any of the other fixtures first. But Bayern away is the most difficult fixture in the group. And I don't think it's going to be a good start for Man United. Bayern to win comfortably 2-0. On to Thursday night. In the Europa League, West Ham take on Baka Topola. Now, it's a team I haven't heard of before, and I do believe it's their debut season in a European competition. So, very well done to them. West Ham started the season well. Three wins, a draw, and they did lose their most recent game, but it was against Man City. So, you kind of let anyone off for that. Good start, and James Ward-Prowse is looking like a very good signing for them. Baka Topola... Won six, drew one of their opening seven games in the Serbian top division. So, good start for them. Again, it's like Red Star Belgrade, another Serbian team. They're coming up against a, a team like Man City. You know, West Ham, I can see, really 
kind of just easing past them. But you can't write these teams off. I am going to go, though, for the home side, West Ham, to pick up all three points in a 2-0 win. Brighton against AEK Athens. And Brighton have got a difficult group with Ajax, Marseille and obviously AEK Athens. However, I think Brighton are the strongest side in this group. And it may sound strange coming up against you know European heavyweights like Marseille and Ajax, but Brighton are just a brilliant side. They're in the best form. And I just see them winning this group quite comfortably. AK Athens have started the season okay. They've only played three games. One win, two draws, so still unbeaten. Brighton won four, lost one. And I just think Brighton are going to ease this group. I, I don't know why I'm so confident, but they are just such a good side under De Zerbe. So Brighton to win it. I'll go 4-1. Austrian side Lask face Liverpool. Now Lask won four, drew two, lost one. So another team starting well. All of these teams probably should be starting well considering they're in Europe. But again, they're at home. They will have you know a bit of a crowd advantage. However, it's Liverpool. And Liverpool, even though when I'm watching them recently, they're not playing great at all. It always seems like a game of two halves. But they keep coming away with all three points which is the most important thing at the end of the day, and they're finding a way to win. Liverpool have started the season well with four wins and a draw, so still unbeaten, and I don't think there's going to be too many issues here. So Liverpool to win 3-0. Legia Warsaw take on Aston Villa in our last game, and it's into the Conference League. Now Legia Warsaw, four wins and two draws from six. Good start again. Villa... They have won three, lost two. The three wins have been against Everton, Burnley and very, very late on against Palace. So although Villa have done okay, a decent start to the season, they have been absolutely battered by both sides that are better than them. And they've only just scraped over the line against Palace. I mean, Palace were 1-0 up in the 86th minute. They managed to lose it 3-1. So I think Villa will need to do a little bit more to be convincing in the league. But again, this game shouldn't be too much of an issue. Whether I'm just overrating all the English sides, I don't know. But Villa, I see winning this quite comfortably. I'll go for a 2-0. So those are my predictions for the eight European fixtures concerning English sides. Now let me know down in the comments whether you like me just doing the English side or whether you just want me to focus on the Champions League or you know so on and so forth. And let me know how you think these teams will get on. I mean I've predicted seven of them, six of them to win, one draw and one loss. So do you agree with that? Is it a bit too heavy on the English side? Maybe Arsenal was a bit harsh putting a draw but let me know down in the comments. Make sure to like and subscribe and hopefully some exciting fixtures. I'll see you next time.